This is a quick video just to go over our Goal Seek tool. You can see here that I have a set of data. I'm going to highlight my data. These are actual data points. And with this data, I'm going to insert a scatter plot. From the scatter plot, I'm going to right click one of my points, add a trend line. The trend line for this one I'm going to use is exponential. With the exponential trend line, I am also going to display the equation on the chart and the R squared value. When I hit close, within um, the box where you can see your scatter plot, you will also now see your prediction formula and your R squared value. The prediction formula is what we must use in order to goal seek. Goal seek requires that you have a formula, not just data points. So I'm going to type in that this is my predicted formula. And now let's go ahead and type in the function that we're going to use. So to type in this function, we start with equal 45.8. 858 times, you learned that E, the exponential, we start typing EXP, we can see the exponential function appear, we double click it and we continue typing in the exponent, negative 0 0.19 times, again we're not going to put X, we're going to access our X value which is in the same row, that would be 2, we close our parentheses, we hit enter. From here, what we want to do is I'm going to double click back on the formula. I want to make sure that it is in fact the formula and I can see that I needed one more value there, a 1 came after um, the 9. So enter your formula and now go back up, highlight that cell, and double click down those values. This will always be the column where you goal seek. You must goal seek from a formula. I'm going to create a dummy row. All a dummy row does is give you a value that's not going to affect your graph. So if I use a dummy row here, the value that I'm going to type in for x is uh, how about 27? If I type in 27 for x, I can see that I get a value of 0.264. Well, what I want is I want to know when the function is exactly zero. So I'm going to hold my cursor and outline the cell that has the value associated with 27. From there, I'm going to click on the data tab, what if analysis, goal seek. The set cell remains at C7. The two value cell must go to zero. We're goal seeking to zero. We're going to change the X value. So you need to click on the cell that has 27, hit OK, and there you have your value. One more time, outline the cell, data tab, what if, goal seek, we're going to go to zero by changing the x value, hit OK, and then hit OK again. That was a quick overview of goal seek. You can goal seek just about to any value, um, providing that the function would give you that value. Hope this helps.